so we were looking at the carbon cycle and um, rather than draw trees and forests and all that sort of thing, we draw boxes and we call this box forests and that's referred to as a pool or we can also call it a stock. I will get out of the way now so you can read it, okay? Forests, pool and stock. So what this little box represents, this is a system boundary. This is something you'll come across a lot in life cycle assessment. So that pool is communicating with the atmosphere. So we can define what the atmosphere is, put a system boundary around that. The system boundary is a, is a kind of an imaginary concept. We're basically saying everything that's in the atmosphere, we can do a, a, a carbon accounting on. So we know how much carbon is in that atmosphere. That pool here is communicating with forests. So forests are absorbing carbon dioxide and the carbon in the atmosphere, some of that is being stored in forests in that pool. And we can make this as complicated as we like, but I'll keep it simple for now. When the timber decays, that carbon returns back to the atmosphere. So that is a flow, a carbon flow. And it's really important when you understand the concepts of carbon accounting that you understand the concepts of stocks, which is something that sits in a pool, and a flow, which is something that is going from one pool to another. And it seems totally obvious and really simple, and you will be surprised how often people confuse it. And sometimes people that are experts in LCA get it confused. So if you learn this bit, you can become an LCA expert overnight and charge lots of money 